All right, so this is um, Clarendon Fund at University of Oxford, 2024-2025. Um, it's for master's and PhD students. It's in the University of Oxford, obviously. Like, I hardly need to say anything about University of Oxford. It's one of the best universities in the world. It's full tuition, meaning it covers more than just the tuition fees. As you can see, there are no, spe there are no specific nationalities or there are no specific subjects. Um, which means, by the way, like all subjects uh, offered at the university are accepted. Like if you want to study a specific subject, but the university doesn't offer that subject, then you obviously cannot uh, apply to this scholarship with that uh, subject. Actually, you do not apply to this scholarship anyway. Um, you are automatically considered uh, when you apply to the when you're admitted to the university. Anyway, so the deadline application deadline is January the 8th. Um, and as you can see, this covers like this is full tuition because it covers 100% of tuition fees and then an $18,000, um, sorry, pounds um, living stipend. Usually in this is pretty much the same in anywhere in the United Kingdom, like um, if a university is giving away like living stipends, um, this is like this is uh, kind of like a fixed amount for like it's updated every year. Um, like that's what they estimate your living expenses will be. Obviously, if you are living in a very expensive place like London, might not be able to uh, afford everything with this. But yeah, uh, this is a yearly, by the way. Yes. So there are no specific eligibility criteria. You just need to be an international master's or PhD student. Um, so yeah, you can see the application procedure here and uh, the deadlines. So again, the university is like pretty much everybody knows about uh, Oxford, especially if you want to study uh, abroad. So we have the location here, we have the population. Um, there are four other scholarships as well. We'll see those in a second. Um, if you want to gain more information about admissions, you can just click on here. Obviously it would be this one because it's for masters and PhD students. We have the deadline here, um, and then the tuition fees are n not extremely high um, for a university of this degree, like one of the highest uh, levels of education, quality of education you can have. But again, like $30,000, $40,000, this is quite extremely high for United Kingdom. Um, like, for example, thirty dollars to $40,000 would be something that is kind of a little more than average perhaps in the United States but for um, United Kingdom this is very high um, so the scholarship covers all of this obviously um, as you can see there are other scholarships so um, this page shows all the scholarships that we have in our database from that school um, for undergraduates we have two one reach Oxford scholarship which is full tuition Palgrave Brown scholarship which is a partial funding. And then for graduates, we have um, for Ukraine, which is full tuition. And um, then Clarence Fund, which is what we are talking about. And High Souls Hugh Springer graduate scholarships. Again, full tuition. Also, um, if you have any questions about the specific like uh, the scholarship or the school, you can just leave your questions in comment section. As you can see, we have one in here. We have like five or something in here. And Yan Li, uh, who is the founder of Global Scholarships, answers all of the questions. Like I, ha I haven't seen a single um, question that went unanswered. So like that's this is what 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 I would where I would put my question. Um, yeah, this is a school. If you want to see where it is, what it looks like, again. Uh, one of the most famous universities in the world. Uh, it's in Oxford, Oxfordshire, uh, close to London. It's in the um, south, uh, in South England. So this is the school. Of course, you have probably seen it before. Um, usually we have them um, in a lot of our, our videos because like they have some of the best programs of, of course the school is a very old school so the old and very prestigious school so the 
architecture and etc cetera, etc cetera, is quite amazing like one of the best places you could go for uh, which is why of course it's extremely competitive so yeah this is the university again um, you don't have to apply for this scholarship uh, when you are accepted to the university um, you automatically get considered for the scholarship as well so you can click here uh, official scholarship page to go and get more even more information not much information to be gained here although um open to all subjects um yeah scholars on a full-time course will receive an annual grant for living expenses again it's annual like eighteen thousand pounds every year uh living expenses of at least the UK R I minimum. What was um, hang on? What what that uh, stands for again? UK R R I United Kingdom Research and Innovation. Yeah. So that's their minimum doctoral stipend rate, and a lot of graduate assistantships, if they are like full funding and they have stipends, uh, this is the amount you will get, kind of like a fixed rate um, duration. Normally effort for scholars, period of fee, liability, um, yeah, nationality, there are no restrictions by nationality or country of ordinary residence. Clarendon scholars come from across the world, from the USA to Australia. I mean, like, these are the two countries that probably this scholarship would not um, benefit all that much compared to people from Venezuela, Vietnam, or Nigeria, perhaps. Um, subject area... Yeah, pretty much the same. Candidates applying to to start a new Doctor of Philosophy or Master's course at Oxford are eligible. This includes students who are currently studying for a Master's degree at Oxford, but who will be replying for a Doctor of PhD, basically. This is and are applying for a second Master's course. So if you are currently in a Master's degree, you cannot apply for this scholarship um, for the, the same specific like that specific uh, master's degree you are doing but if you are like if you go for a second master's one or a phd you will be considered for this um yeah i think that's pretty much it not not all that much like all that much of a detail here um you basically go apply to the oxford university and if you get a, if you get accepted for a PhD or master master program, and um, you will be automatically um, you will be automatically considered for this, and like you would probably need this because London is like London. I mean Oxford is quite close to London and a lot of other uh, very crowded areas. So um, like it, you would need. Hang on, actually, let's see. You know what? Uh, let's see if we can get an actual number about Oxford. I'm not sure. I don't think we would. Oxfordshire. Um, now, so this is where Oxford is. Of course, London is very expensive. Other places quite close by, Bristol and Birmingham, not that expensive. But Oxford would be uh, kind of a special case in this context. So yeah, this is Clarendon Fund at University of Oxford 2024 and 2025.